saltwater guide, but let's jump back to the fish finding apparatus. So you have your fish finder set from zero to 150, or let's say you wanted to look a little bit deeper, zero to 300. So you just go on to your fish finding apparatus and you go to range and you take it off of auto, you put it on manual, you set it for the depth, zero to 300. Now you're looking at that zero to 300 on your screen. You see those fish at 150 feet on your screen. You know those ones that are 150 feet deep, they wanna get in the boat, they wanna get in the white bag. Now you go deeper into your saltwater guide and you learn how to catch them. But if you don't know how to use the machine, then you're gonna be really failing miserably out there trying to figure out how to catch the fish. So what I'm trying to teach you is how to use your machine. You cannot be afraid of that fish finding apparatus. You have to know how to use it. And you do not want to try to practice using it when you get out there on the water. When you get out there on the water, the only thing you should be concerned about doing is killing fish, catching fish, putting them in the white bag, taking them home and eating them. That should not be the day where you try to figure out how to use the machine. When you want to figure out how to use your machine, do it in the harbor drive around the harbor. Start to learn how to identify the targets on your machine. When you drive around most harbors, most harbors are 15 to 25 feet deep. So I would set the screen at 40 feet if it's 25 feet deep. If it's 15 feet deep, I'd set the screen at 30 feet. I wanna put the bottom midway in the middle of the screen so I can see the definition of hard bottom and soft bottom. It's gonna matter, all that stuff matters. Once you can identify the difference between soft bottom and hard bottom, and you have your machine set up with your gain set perfect so that you can tell the difference between hard bottom and soft bottom, then don't touch anything, go offshore, set it from zero to 300, now you can start to see tuna offshore. But if your machine is set on, everything's on automatic, then there's a pretty good chance you're missing almost everything that's swimming out there because the machine was set on automatic by someone at the factory that's never been on the ocean in their whole life and they couldn't possibly be knowing what you're looking for. So that's why I try to help you all to learn how to use it the machine to your best of your ability so that you can go out and catch fish and the advantage that I have is that I have been on every kind of different boat and used every different kind of machine you can possibly imagine on a fish catching basis not at a setting at the dock installing it and sit untying your boat and pushing you out there to figure it out on your own I go with you on your boat and teach you how to use these machines so that's why you might want to pay attention to what I'm talking about, or you can just go get the information from your friend, sister's brother's cousin that's a plumber and listen to what he has to say and then go out there and try to figure it out with him. Or you can listen to me and figure it out the right way. I don't really care. It's not gonna change what I catch or what I drink tonight or what I eat, but it will change what you do, guys. I'm trying to help you. I know I'm a little gruff, and I'm a smart ass and I understand all that. I've been told that a million times, but what I'm telling you is the truth and it's real. And if you learn how to use that machine at your dock or in your harbor, or take it a step further, go to my your saltwater guide, grab a handful of the thousands of spots that are available on there, go outside the harbor, drive around, identify those spots, learn how to see what they are on your machine before you go offshore. Once you can identify how to read hard bottom from soft bottom and distinguish fish from kelp, then you're ready for the next step going offshore and trying to find fish out there. But if you don't know how to use the machine, the last thing you wanna do is spend thousands of dollars on fuel trying to figure out how to use it. Learn how to use the machine at the dock, at your bait barge, driving around your harbor, maybe out in the harbor, out in the ocean for a little bit. You don't have to go very far. We have spots right next to most harbors where you can just go and figure out how to use it, come back to the dock and feel good about yourself. You want confidence in your machine, okay? And I'm telling you, if you try to read the book that came with it, it's, you're, never, you're, you're gonna get super frustrated. I take the curve out of it for you, I take the bend out of it, you don't need that. Just like I always say, 
on Instagram when I'm talking to people because there's a lot of guys on Instagram that have been fishing for a living for like eight or nine minutes and now they're the experts and they tell you oh you shouldn't participate or subscribe to anybody's website you should just go out there and figure it out on your own like I had to that is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard in my life gang why would you want to figure it out on your own if you want to learn how to play the guitar you subscribe to somebody's YouTube channel or something to figure out how to play the guitar if you want to learn how to fly an airplane you got to learn from someone who knows how why don't you take a small amount of fishing advice from someone who fishes for a living every single day follow the simple recipe be successful when you go be the person that everyone else is reading about it makes all the sense in the world don't try to figure it out on your own that's ridiculous I didn't I had mentors that taught me how to do it 50 years ago when I started fishing for a living and now I've been making a living at it for 44 years and I'm just trying to help all of you to catch more fish learn how to use your machine learn how to use your fish finder pedometer machine go out there catch fish take them home eat them take lots of pictures show everybody how cool you are because you caught fish because you followed the simple recipe but you don't have to suck at fishing anymore unless that's what you're into if you like to do that then stay away from my website it cost a whole whopping four dollars and 99 cents for you to be successful out here on the ocean I promise you I'll never lie to you I'll always tell you the truth whether you like the truth or not I don't care I'm just telling you the truth that's all the fish finder is not a fish finder it's a pedometer you don't want to run it on man auto you want to run it on manual you want to be in charge of what you're looking for I will be more than happy to help any of you once you're members of the website you can go on my website sign up for the personal forums ask me any question you want I'll even let you call me and we'll talk about it in front of your machine I'll tell you what buttons to push and how to get from point A to point B and how to catch more fish on your boat I don't know anybody else out there that's offering this to you but if there is jump on their website be successful information is the key to fishing you want as much information in your tackle box as you can possibly have so go grab as much information as you can and go fishing and go catching that's what I got for you today that's my seminar today I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna go back outside and fish and have fun